Okay, well, let's take a uh, look at our first um, real world word problem. So there it is over there, you can see it. So we have a Pop-Tart, which of course is a great thing to have in the morning. This is the morning for me right now, and I am looking forward to this question in the, in the most exciting way. Okay, anyway, we have a Pop-Tart, and what are we told? We are told that the length of the Pop-Tart is three centimeters less than twice the width. Whatever that means, we'll have to think about that. And we're also told that the perimeter of the Pop-Tart is 54 centimeters. And the question is, just given that information, uh, what in fact is the length of the width or the, the measure of the width of the Pop-Tart? Okay, so how do you do this? What we have to do is we have to take all those words and we have to now convert them to, to mathematics and then try to solve that. So the first thing you need is not a graphing calculator, not sort of a computer, but of course you need, obviously, is a Pop-Tart. Now happily, I have one here to, um, to share with you. Well, just virtually share with you because you ain't gonna eat mine. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, now, how would you set this up? Well, let's think about this. We're told that this length is three less than twice the width. Now, what does that mean? It means that if I know the width, if I know this here, I can find this by taking twice the width, but then reducing it by three. So suppose that I call this width, since I don't know it, I'm gonna give it a name. Now you see, this is now what we're doing to the problem. This wasn't given to us in the problem. But I'll call that distance right there W for width. You could call it X, doesn't make a difference. But I'm just gonna give it a name so I can talk about it now. Okay, in mathematics, we want to assign a variable or a symbol to something that we don't know. That's why it's called an unknown. And then later in life, we hope to know it. Okay, now, if I call this W, I can now figure out what this is. Because what would this length be? Well, it's not going to be 2 times W because that's too big. But we're told in this question that, in fact, it's 3 centimeters less than 2 times W. So, in fact, this length right here would be... 2w, but then I have to deduct 3. So notice how I took those facts that I was given and converted them into this picture and then gave some names to these, to these objects. Okay, now what else do I know? I know the perimeter is 54. Now what's the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is just the length of the sides around. So you just go around and add up all those lengths and that total is the perimeter. It's sort of the, the length of the, of the boundary. And so in this case, since this is a rectangle, uh, we just add this side, which is 2w minus 3, and this side is actually the same as the other side. So this is again a w, and then I have another 2w minus 3, and then I have another w, and I add them all up. So the perimeter, the perimeter would equal what? Well, it would equal this length, 2w minus 3, and then I add this length, which would be a w, then I would add this length, which would be another 2w minus 3, and then I would add that final length, which is another w. But we're told in the problem that that has to be 54. And so now I actually have an equation. Notice how I took all those words and I converted them through the use of a picture and, and some, uh, introducing some unknowns into a math fact. Now this looks pretty, pretty complicated, but it's really not because everything combines quite nicely. Look, I have two W's here, plus a W is three W's, plus another two W is five W's, and then one more W gives me six W's, so I have six W. And then how many constant terms do I have? I have a minus 3, another minus 3, so that's minus 6. And I'm told that equals 54. Okay, so now I solve this. Notice this is now this is a really easy equation. The math is always the easy part to solve. The hard part is actually going from the words to the mathematics. So what do I do? I add 6 to both sides. And so I see 6w equals, if I add 6 to this side, I think I see 60. And if I divide through both sides by... 6, I see that w equals 10, and the units here are centimeters. And you can check that, by the way. You can take the Pop-Tart and take centimeters, and you can measure. Now, you probably can't see that, but if you do, uh, you'd measure, you know the answer. I'm not going to tell you what it says. Okay, so this is 10 centimeters is the answer. By the way, you always want to make sure when you do a word problem that you're actually getting the answer that was asked. So let's make sure that this is w, which means the width. Is that what we're after? Yep, they're asking for the width. So the width is 10. If they asked us for the, the length, what would I do? I'd go back and say, okay, that's 2 times the width minus 3, which would be 20 minus 3, which would be 17. So in fact, then I could say 17 if they asked for the length. But they didn't. They asked for the width. Okay, this question actually has a great bonus question. The bonus question you can see over there is, how many Pop-Tarts can I eat? Well, it's morning time, you know, and um, let me do... Mmm. They're delicious. They're, they're sort of thin, though. And they really need to be toasted. This is not toasted, I'll tell you the truth. But from this bite... Mm. 
So I would say with a big glass of milk and some good TV programs like The Love Boat, I would say about seven. So of course the answer to the bonus question for extra credit is seven. Okay, bon appetit, and I'll see you at the next, um, the next little stage on our little um, salad bar tour here. <laughs> see you soon.